Hello adventurers, I'm CM Floki. And I'm CM Akash. Hope you're doing well and are excited for the third episode of Termian Campfire. And thank you so much for watching the second episode. We've carefully read through all the comments you had left on episode 2 and we appreciate your support a lot. And from those comments, we found a request that we are happy to grant. That's right Akash, after taking a look at some of the comments, we saw that one of the most common requests was for more restoration scrolls. Yeah, I've been using a lot of restoration scrolls lately to enhance my accessories and harmony alchemy stones. Yeah, same here. So you know what? I think it would be awesome for us to take note of this for our upcoming in-game and community events. What do you think, Akash? That's a great idea, Floki. We currently have two new community events planned out to start next week, so stay tuned, everyone. Now let's get started. Akash, what brings us here today for episode 3? Well, first of all, we just released new Land of the Morning Light and Guild content, so we thought we'd give you a quick recap and also introduce you to some of the new characters that are coming to Black Desert Mobile. Oh yeah, I saw the video on our official YouTube channel and it looks like we're going to have a really sweet class coming up. So stay tuned and let's get started on episode 3 right now. We are happy to announce the new Land of the Morning Light tail collection and new Black Shrine bosses. That's right, we've added four bonus tails to the Land of the Morning Light tail collection, and the new bonus tails will become accessible once the eight original tails are complete. We also added three new Black Shrine bosses. Floki, do you remember who they are? Of course, I already completed all four tails and tried three Black Shrine bosses, which are Sangun, Changui, and Odukshini. What about you, Akash? Who's your favorite boss among those three? To be honest, I love all three of them, but if I had to choose one, I'd go with Sangun, just because he's a tiger. And I like tigers. <laughs> <laughs> Completely agree. Anyways, you can obtain the first clear rewards for each of the difficulty levels, and each Black Shrine bosses will be accessible after completing their respective bonus tales. Also, we added Calamity 6 difficulty to all Black Shrine bosses for the current adventures. Calamity 6 can be challenged after completing Calamity 5 for each respective boss. Please keep in mind that upon your first completion of a Calamity 6 boss, you can obtain the Calamity Level 6 Reward Sack, and when used, you can get 3 Embers of Pongik and 1000 Scream EXP scores. Don't forget that you can also get some cool new emojis based on the number of times you complete the Calamity 6 difficulty for each boss. The crafting recipes for the Donvale helmet and Donvale armor have been added as well. Same as other Donvale gears, you need the Flame of Hongi, Chaos Jewel, and Akrad as materials. For the Donvale helmet, you need 2 Flame of Hongi, 5 Chaos Jewels, and 30 Akrad. And for the Donvale armor, you need 3 Flame of Hongi, 6 Chaos Jewels, and 30 Akrad. Like the Chaos gear, Awakened Enhancements can be done up to a plus 10, and up to 5 Crystals can be equipped. The Awakened Enhancement's success rate and its needed materials are the same as the ones for Chaos Gear. Remember, you can also transfer your Chaos Gear to the crafted Donville Gear. It's time to craft another Donville Gear and to continue your journey in Black Desert Mobile. Facing a massive onslaught, it's time for adventurers to unite not just with their own strength, but in the name of their guild, and collaborate with faithful allies. This is a part of the content description, and wow, it sounds so majestic. It's time to gather up with your guild members. We added the new content, Kaposha, where you cooperate with guild members to fend off the waves of enemies. You will face enemies attacking in various forms over a set period of time, and points can be earned by defeating the enemies. And this is the most important part, so listen carefully. The points are obtained on a guild basis, and all guild members will receive the same reward based on the acquired points. There are a total of three difficulty levels in Kaposha, and more points can be earned in higher difficulties. Each wave spawns different monsters and has different methods of earning points, making things exciting. So let's team up, tackle the challenge together, and share all the rewards. So Floki, did you watch the video that we released recently? Which video are you talking about? Oh, the new class trailer video. Of course I did. I've been waiting for her for quite some time. Yes, in case you haven't watched it yet, let's watch it together right now.
Wow, Askia looks amazing. Yeah, I think it might be time to change my class. What about you guys? <laughs> just, just, okay. We're just shitting. All right, that's all from us. As always, we hope that this episode helped you understand the game more. And as usual, before we leave, we brought another surprise just for you. Yep, in celebration for our new upcoming class, get ready for a special coupon heading your way. Thanks for joining us once again. Remember to hit that like button, drop us a comment, and stay tuned for more. It's always a blast hanging out with you adventurers. See y'all soon.